So, let's talk about Trusted Mode. Trusted Mode is one of those tries from Valve to fix their cheating problem somehow. In theory, it sounds fine. Trusted Mode blocks external DLLs and programs that interfere with CSGO. On paper, that is really good. On practice though, that's a different story. So, in theory, Trusted Mode should make your game experience better and of course boost your trust factor, which technically makes you go queue against people with the same trust factor and of course Trust Mode on. But in fact, that is a different story because trusted mode already cooks everyone that has a low pc or a bad pc because a trusted mode will for some people tank their fps along with people now having to use windowed capture mode in obs instead of game capture that means lower fps because your pc has to work more legit creators that used to play 4x3 stretched etc because they are used to playing like that and of course it brings more FPS, some what are now forced to play 16x9, which makes the game look way better. But not everyone has the beefy PC to do so. Legends that already have trust, uh, trust issues, aka a lower trust factor than, than others, are now being forced into even lower trust factor, making their gaming experience even worse, because they will now end up facing more cheaters. And of course that's just some point, right? And then there is of course the cheater side and perspective of all of this. When Trusted Mode came out, this whole thing had been bypassed within a one hour of it being out. By the way, if you're using a paste, just put your DLL and injector into the Windows folder and you're good again because Valve does not check the Windows folder. Have fun doing that. And since Valve doesn't check the Windows folder, this whole thing is actually completely redundant and only affects legits. Besides that, there is the fact that most cheats nowadays already bypass uh, trusted mode anyways and those who don't will soon too. Also a lot of cheaters that want to play the game will play the game. They do not care about trusted mode. They don't care about the trust factor. If they want to cheat, they will cheat. They will accept it and go on with their game. And for Wingman HVH people, that's actually more of a help because you're trying to search for HVH anyways. So you are expecting lower trust factor people. The impact this whole trust factor thing had was that some people couldn't even start the game. Others have low FPS, others have performance issues, some have micro stutters, others simply are annoyed by the thing and can't play the game or will not continue to play the game. Well done Valve. On my last few streams I tried to HVH and I come across even more and more legends just because those people don't know how to fix their trusted mode issues and they will of course just accept it and go into low trust mode. So in conclusion and the TLDR of the whole thing is Trusted mode only cucks legends and cheaters are not really affected of it. So Valve did it again. They pushed an update that is useless. Congratulations. If you want to try to fix your trusted mode, etc. There is a really good video by Banana Gaming. You can check that out if you want to. I will link it in the description. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Steve and I'll see you in the next funny moments. Or I don't fucking know, HVH or whatever it is. Check my live channel and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next thing. Peace.